congratulations. Thank you. I thought, you know, there's a, there's sort of an irony and a, a nice connection here, the fact that while uh, Ryan was sort of uh, working on Fruitville <laughs> Station with you, uh, he comes together with, with Stallone to do this. And yeah. of course, working with Ryan in this project, how different from that previous one? Not too much different, just different budget. I think uh, the trailers were a lot different. The trailers were definitely a lot different. Um, but, but honestly, you know, you know, Ryan, me and Ryan talked about this before we even shot Fruitville Station. So to kind of see that come into fruition so fast was pretty incredible. And to watch him grow um, and to grow with him. You know, we, we grew together um, from project to project. So our, our connection and our communication was very shorthand and, and, and it, paid, it paid off. It sure did. Sure did. It really paid off. Obviously, you're a guy that's always been in shape, uh, but uh, I assume a little extra training little here. Extra training, yes, definitely. Strip down the diet. I think that was the hardest thing for me to get let go is the food and just change, completely change my diet, and that really helped out a lot. Um, exercising, you know, six days a week, sometimes two to three, two to three uh, times a day, and and if you do anything consistently for that long, for a year, a year, a year, about a year, hardcore, your body will definitely change. And, and yeah, that was, the, you know, that was the best I've ever looked, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Boxing, obviously, was a part of your routine before. Was it something you followed, uh, you know, as, as, as a, you know, just as somebody, as a fan? As a fan? No, as a kid, like, watching boxing, you know, boxing matches with my dad, you know, watching Tyson, you know, knock cats out. And, you know, just that I remember, you know, when Holyfield, you know, when he bit Holyfield's ear, you know, I remember watching that, you know, and it was crazy. But um, definitely, definitely a boxing fan. Never boxed growing up, mixed martial arts. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, this was my crash course. This was, this was uh, a year and a half of, uh, you know, going to the best boxing mi minds alive today and, and just trying to soak up as much information as I can. Well, and you had, as, as you mentioned, real boxers in this, real, exactly. real gyms, real trainers and all of that. Uh, any injuries for you? Uh, no real injuries, only... I mean, soreness like I would never believe. I mean, my body broke down after we finished shooting the fighting scenes. I had to, like, you know, I was on bed rest for a couple of days, which was incredible. I mean, like, it was literally physically couldn't do anything. And it was so crazy because, like, you know, a couple hours before, I'm, we're boxing. You know, like, full-on boxing is cra crazy, which your mind can kind of push your body to the limits, even though your body kind of gave out. But once you accomplish something, it was just like, okay, I can shut down now. And then literally that's what happened. Well, you pulled it off beautifully. It really <laughs> Thanks, did. Um, Stallone, yeah. uh, you got to talk. You had some incredible scenes with him. That locker room scene, I think, is going to live with people for a long time, and plus a lot of others. Thank talk you. about working with with Sly and, and what that experience was like for you. Um, it was, uh, you know, one of you know. I mean, as far as experiences go, it's it's up there. You know, he's he's a you know such a talented actor, and he gives so much to you in a scene, and uh, he gives you what you need to kind of respond and, and, and to do your thing. You know, and you know, just to watch Sly transform into Rocky is is a is a performance all its own. To see him kind of like become him, and uh, yeah, it was very humbling. The themes there's so many themes in the Rocky it's movies, obviously, but yeah. one of course in, is that your, and your character, of course, is key to this is proving to make it on your own, on your own terms, not because of who your dad is or who your background is. You no, know, yes, that's you know, that's definitely a, uh, it's a huge theme in it, especially for Adonis, who, you know, who is living in the shadow of the famous fighter that ever lived, you know, and it's one of those things that, and he doesn't even know him, so I, you know, I imagine how frustrating that is, like, I've never met the guy, and he's, you know, in spirit, stopping me from doing the things that I want to do, and, um, and he's left so many questions on the inside, so I think for Adonis, really trying to find himself uh, through sport, you know, and through family, and the people that knew his dad the best, and uh, ultimately Rocky, um, Apollo's best friend, he became that father figure in a way. He became that mentor. He became his, you know, Rocky, he was, he was Mickey. And, um, and I think that that was pretty, pretty important. Yeah, it came through that way too. Um, I love so much of, the, so many of the scenes with you and Tessa. Yeah. Um, and that whole relationship between Adonis and Bianca is, is a, is a wonderful part of this movie, and I'm sure that obviously was something you enjoyed doing very much. <laughs> yeah, for sure. She's such a great actress, and we have a lot of we have a lot of fun, you know. And that's and that's the thing. If you can go to work and it doesn't feel like work, and you're having a good time, sometimes like, you know you just find those magic moments. And and we definitely connected. And she's such a strong actress. Um, and I think it, it, you know, there's nobody else that could have played this role, you know, um, you know, of a you know a girl from Philly, you know, very independent very focused on her, on her goals, very focused on, you know, making it. 
and um, not letting anything stop her. So to kind of have these two people who have similar mind states to try to fall in love together is, is interesting to watch. Exactly. Of course, uh, I have to ask you, do you own, I thought I saw, were you wearing some Eric Jordans in this movie? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely had Jordans on. Pretty much the whole time. Besides, like, a lot of the training stuff, I want to say I had retros on the entire time. Yep. Have you met Michael? I haven't met him yet, That which is, uh, which is crazy. I mean, I always kind of wanted to meet him at the, because think about it. I've known about this guy here for my entire life. He, he, doesn't, he just found out of me probably, you know, however long ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's something else. I always wanted to meet him on the level. I never wanted to be, a, like, come up to Mike like, like, a, like a fan. And he'd be like, all right, kid, what's up? You know, whatever it would be. I always wanted to be, like, a, a mutual, like, what's up? What's going on? Respect. Well, you really are on the same level, <laughs> let me tell you. Coming from Chicago, I can tell you that.